Welcome back, friends, to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So let me ask you a question. When was the last time you bought something that you felt 100% confident in the purchase? I mean, you, you know that when you buy a TV, that within a couple of days of it, the warranty expiring, the TV is going to crap out on you. Or that dishwasher you just bought, you know, three years from now, you're going to have to replace it because, you know, they don't make the replacement parts anymore. Uh, and don't even get me started on cars. Cars are disposable nowadays, which is kind of disgusting but there are still some uh avenues out there some companies that uh still give you a great value for uh, uh the purchase and uh stand by their products uh, like victorinox they uh, uh they give you a lifetime warranty which is amazing especially you know, the fact that their knives are so low cost these days um so kudos to them but uh you know recently i've discovered that uh, the U.S. World Headquarters for Victorinox is right here in Connecticut, in, in Monroe, Connecticut, and the uh, repair center is right next door. Um, so one of these days I'm going to have to make a pilgrimage to go down there and check them out. But uh, in learning that, it kind of got me thinking about uh, the warranty itself. And uh, I've bought a, my fair share of uh, Victorinox knives. I've got a decent amount of money invested in, in them. And uh, uh, I've never really given the warranty a second thought. It's uh, just, you know, second nature. You buy a Victorinox knife and you know it's going to be warranted, but, um, I, and, and I've never needed to use it. But uh, it got me thinking, well, I'd like to try to use it, see what, see what happens. And uh, all my knives are in good shape, so I really don't need to, except for one, uh, one that uh, I bought at a thrift store. And uh, I bought it for $2, and I did include it in a video recently, and, and, you know, a couple months ago. Um, and uh, so I started the warranty process on it, and I was fully willing to pay for whatever uh repairs that needed to be done uh, but all i asked for was it to be cleaned it be it to be sharpened and for them to replace the uh, uh the toothpick and uh it still had the tweezers uh, but uh it was pre-owned uh, i didn't have the uh, original receipt and uh um, it was very well loved by the previous owner but uh, uh so i sent it in i, I completed the warranty process and sent it in and um they, they confirmed they got it and all they asked for was a five dollar deposit a minimum of five dollars and uh, if the repairs cost more than five dollars they would email me a uh, um quote and i can choose to uh go forward or you know decline the quote and just return, have them return it um so i got an email that they received it and they were you know the warranty uh service was in progress and i waited about three weeks for it and nothing really i didn't really hear anything about it so i checked i kept checking the website and still nothing still nothing it said in progress finally uh, a couple of nights ago i get a uh, email that says that uh, um, the warranty work has been done and it's you know getting ready to be shipped back and next day it's in my mailbox it, it, that's crazy i mean it's like two o'clock in the morning and it's i get an email and then and say actually the same day it's in my mailbox but uh I, I digress um so i finally uh uh have it here i did open it up to take a look at it and uh yeah it, it, it's a heavy bag for a single knife i was i was perplexed i died what the heck's going on here there is a knife in there but there's something else in there so um i pull the uh, packing slip out and uh i pulled this out what the heck is this it's parts actually more than parts it's my knife in parts every piece as you can see that sucker was dirty i didn't really clean it what the heck is going on here um i mean that, that that's everything i mean nothing was fixed nothing was Maybe it was cleaned, but uh, I mean, the knife was very uh, dirty and very gunked up, and it was almost dangerous to, to use because, I mean, you really had to pull on, on tools to get them open. So, now, what else is going on here? I mean, there was a full knife in here. Where, really? What? Holy crap. They took this one apart, probably just so I would not... Uh, go through the warranty process again or sell it and they sent me a brand new knife 
I mean, t take a look at that. that that's, that's amazing. It doesn't have the box, which is fine. I don't need a box. But, uh, I mean, that is brand new. I mean, who does this in this day and age? What, what companies do this? I didn't, I didn't even ask for this. I just asked for it to be cleaned and uh, um, sharpened. And they sent me a brand new one. That's freaking amazing. So, um, thank you, Victorinox. You know, you, you went above and beyond. I appreciate that. And uh, it just makes me happy to be a customer of yours. To proudly carry your, uh, your knives. But, uh. Now I have parts. <laughs> uh, I'll probably carry that and something else, and maybe the scissors and something else, and you know, just hang on to the other ones as keepsakes. But uh, yeah, I'm amazed. So if you have any questions about the process that I went through, I would be more than happy to answer those questions. I'll actually put the links down in the description to the warranty uh, services. Uh, I don't recommend uh, sending something in just to get a free product from them. That, that's kind of cheating the system. I was not expecting this. I was not hoping for this, but uh, I'm happy they they did do that. Um, I'm amazed. I, why am I putting everything together back together? You should see this. But uh, yeah, again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll, I'll be linking everything uh, as well in the description. But uh, as always, I appreciate everyone watching. I hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Carry on.